Hey guys, uh, this is a video for your math test 21. I'm just going to go over a few things uh, to refresh your memories uh, and to guide you through the test a little bit before you take it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, um, I actually want you to look at your test if you can right now because this question, it's a little strange. Um, and I'm going to kind of walk you through how to do it because I don't think it's really a question you've had to do before. Um, so it's number five. Uh, number five, has you've been given the information, Lars has six dogs. Each dog eats two-thirds of a can of food each day. Dog food costs 96 cents per can. So it's asking you for number, f this is information for five and six. So it's asking you for number five, how many cans of dog food are eaten each day? So you have to think two thirds of a can for each dog, and he has six dogs. There's multiple ways you can do that. You can draw out two thirds um, and count them all up, count up how many thirds you have and figure out how many whole numbers that would be. So you would take, um, if you did two thirds plus two thirds, two thirds, two thirds, six of those, count up all the thirds, you would have this many thirds is the total number that they're eating. Then, but that doesn't ask, it's not asking how many thirds of cans, it's asking how many cans. So you just take, treat it like a division problem. You divide your, your uh, numerator by your denominator. Um, so whatever that is divided by three, and that's how you'll get your uh, your whole number. It will be a whole number uh, to get the number of cans that the dogs that uh, the dogs eat each day. So um, I just wanted to kind of walk you through it. If you have another way you want to do it, that's fine. But you could do it by drawing out the thirds. You could even add two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds. Um, I'm not going to get into multiplication because you haven't really been taught how to multiply fractions. Um, uh, at least not with whole numbers and stuff. And I don't want to have to teach you a new concept because this is a test. Um, so I did want to just walk you through number five. Uh, so again, you add up the thirds, basically. The six, you have two thirds six times. And then you add them all up. Then you uh, divide your numerator by your denominator to get the number of cans. Uh, six, you can figure out, one, if once you get five finished, you can do six. Um, and I'll remind you for um, changing improper fractions, because that is a new concept. You haven't been tested over it yet. Um, and changing an improper fraction to a mixed number, you divide, you treat it as a division problem. You divide your um, numerator by your denominator. Um, and then whatever your remainder is, that's uh, your fraction, your new numerator, and your d denominator stays the same. So for example, if you were changing um, 5 thirds to a mixed number, you would say 5 divided by 3 is 1, and then 5 times 1 is 5, I'm sorry, 5 times 1 times 3, sorry about that, because uh, so, it's 5 thirds. So, Five divided by three is one. One times three is three. Five minus three is two. So your remainder is two, which will be two thirds. So your mixed number will be one and two thirds. You did just do that. That was just taught to you recently. So um, I wanted to remind you how to do that. Um, and then number 10, I think that's the last one I kind of need to go over. Um, number 10 is, um, is a uh, tax problem. Remember, you find out the total price of the objects. In this case, it's uh, cassette tapes. Um, and you add up how much that costs, and then you add in the tax. Um, so you can find out how much it costs altogether. Then you have your, so this is a multi-step problem. You have your, um, then you have how much was given, a $20 bill. So you have to subtract the, the total once you've gotten it 
from the 20 so you can find out how much change she got back. Um, I think that's all. As a reminder, as always, please take your time and check your work. Um, I've had some of you even skipping problems. I don't know if that's on purpose or on accident, but don't do that because you, you get it wrong automatically if you skip a problem. Um, so please make sure you're answering every single question and every part of every single question. Check over it, take your time, and do your best, okay? <laughs>